In process industries produce lot of petroleum and gas in a day, these products are transferred to one place to another through these pipes. These pipe network are, are the vein of the process plant it carry oil gas water etc. Flow need to measure for the commercial and process purpose in every industries. How we will measure the flow. Plate mesure flow from the process line the orifice plate is the most common form of restriction that is used in flow measurement. An orifice plate is basically a thin metal plate with a hole board in the center. It has a tab on one side where the specification of the plate is stamped. The upstream side of the orifice plate usually has a sharp, edge. When an orifice plate is installed in a flow line, usually clamped between a pair of flanges, increase of fluid flow velocity through the reduced area at the orifice develops a differential pressure across the orifice. This pressure is a function of flow rate. When the fluid is flowing trough the pipe the orifice plate will restrict the flow and it creates a differential pressure between upstream and downstream. Differential pressure flow meters use Bernoulli's equation to measure the flow of fluid in a pipe. Differential pressure flow meters introduce a constriction in the pipe that creates a pressure drop across the flow meter. When the flow increases, more pressure drop is created. Impulse piping routes the upstream and downstream pressures of the flow meter to the transmitter that measures the differential pressure to determine the fluid flow. This technology accounts for about 21% of the world market for flow meters. Bernoulli's equation states that the pressure drop across the constriction is proportional to the square of the flow rate. Using this relationship, 10% of full-scale flow produces only 1% of the full-scale differential pressure. At 10% of full-scale flow, the differential pressure flow meter accuracy is dependent upon the transmitter being accurate over a 100 colon 1 range of differential pressure. Differential pressure transmitter accuracy is typically degraded at low differential pressures in its range, so flow meter accuracy can be similarly degraded. Therefore, this nonlinear relationship can have a detrimental effect on the accuracy and turndown of differential pressure flow meters. Remember that of interest is the accuracy of the flow measurement system dash not the accuracy of the differential pressure transmitter. Differential pressure flow meters inferentially measure the flow of liquids, gases, and vapor, such as water, cryogenic liquids, chemicals, air, industrial gases, and steam. Be careful using differential pressure flow meters for fluids with high viscosity, such as some hydrocarbons and foods, because their accuracy can be degraded when Reynolds number is low. This flow meter can be applied to relatively clean fluids. With proper attention to materials of construction, the flow of corrosive fluids, such as are found in the chemical industry, can be measured. Differential pressure flow meters are generally applicable to many flows in most industries, such as mining, mineral processing, pulp and paper, petroleum, chemical, petrochemical, water, and wastewater industries. Other flow measurement technologies may perform better than differential pressure flow meters in many applications, however differential pressure flow meters are still used extensively due to long-standing user familiarity with the technology. Because of the nonlinear relationship between flow and differential pressure, the accuracy of flow measurement in the lower portion of the flow range can be degraded. Plugging of the impulse piping can be a concern for many services. For slurry service, purges should be used to keep the impulse piping from plugging. For liquid service, impulse piping should be oriented and sloped so that it remains full of liquid and does not collect gas. For gas service, impulse piping should be oriented and sloped so that it remains full of gas and does not collect liquids. In vapor service, Vapor may be allowed to condense in some of the impulse piping to form a liquid seal between the hot vapor and transmitter in order to protect the transmitter from heat. Calibration issues can be important to the successful application of this technology. For example, differential pressure transmitter removal for calibration exposes the transmitter to multiple sources of potential problems that can affect the measurement, not the least of which is the extent to which the transmitter tubing is retightened after calibration. Calibration should generally be performed in situ when possible and provisions to do so should be addressed during the design phase. For example, 
the differential pressure transmitter can be purchased with an integral valve manifold that allows easy calibration without disconnecting impulse tubing. Gas applications should be designed carefully because changes in operating pressure and operating temperature can dramatically affect the flow measurement. In other words, the gas density can vary significantly during operation. As a result, the differential pressure produced by the flow meter can also vary significantly during operation. Failure to compensate for these effects can cause flow measurement errors of 20% or more in many applications. In these applications, a flow computer can be used to calculate the corrected flow measurement using actual pressure, temperature, and flow measurements.